welcome back to the shop guys. Today we're installing the Y axis for the VRO. Um, I'll show you some different ideas that I have. Um, I'm going to play around with this and figure out exactly which way it's going to be best to mount this. Um, one of the big problems is going to be the fact that the casting is not even. Let me bring you in and I'll give you a close up of that. So this is the Y axis on this machine. Obviously this is the part of the table that's going to move in the Y direction. So the challenge is that this casting, as you can see, is at an angle from this casting. So what I think I'm going to have to do is make a bracket that will hold this linear scale about right there. So come down and across and down, or I'll just uh, machine a, <clears throat> a block that'll bolt onto here, and or two pieces, one on each end, or somehow I'll work it out where there'll be a casting or no, a piece that comes down that holds this out. And then what I'll do is I'll drill and I'll make standoffs to hold the actual reader head itself. So I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, I took a piece of aluminum and I cut it, milled it, made it perfect so it can bolt right to there. I'll put one screw, maybe two for sure, and then the linear scale can attach right here. Then I'll worry about the <clears throat> offset. I may have to build this back and do offsets up here as well which I probably will, or some sort of spacer to move it back. <clears throat> Alright, so I took the power feed off, I made this piece of aluminum, drill and tap two holes into the side casting, and I just got this piece of wood holding the linear scale basically where I want it. I think we're good in this axis. I may have to put some spacers behind the linear scale just to move it out a little bit. <clears throat> and then I'll look at how I'm going to attach the reader to the bottom casting. But I think we're in good shape. So, let me keep working on this. And uh, once I get it all ready for uh, final assembly, I'll bring you guys back. Okay. <clears throat> So I drilled and tapped, I put wa washer back here on each side, just to give that a little bit of a standoff and give it a little more flush. Everything seems to be fine. Let me take the plastic piece out. Okay, I put the power feed back on the mill. I got the Y uh, glass scale on. It's set up, cabling's run around. I just have some temporary cabling management done here just to keep things out of the way of the mill. Um, let's fire it up and see if it works. Okay, there's the X. It still works. And look at there, there's the Y. So that's awesome. We now have a digital readout that works. The Z axis is going to be the challenge because of where you have to place it. So I will work on that, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, I have the X and the, and the Y, which are the two important ones for me. The Z, I can always do things here, but I will eventually put it on, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. 
So thank you guys for coming and joining me, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.